Hello guys and welcome back. Today I thought we'd take a look back at 2002's G.I. Joe Vaz Cobra. It's a part of the G.I. Joe toy line that I think really has been, for the large part, ignored uh, for various reasons. But uh, I still think there's some uh, charm in these 12 inch G.I. Joes from this era. They really had some real big winners, in my opinion, and they also had some losers, too. But Rokondo here is kind of a uh, mixed bag. As you can tell from the packaging, he is pretty color appropriate to the original three and three quarter figure. The desert jungle style camo is pretty cool, but some of the accessories, uh, leave a little bit more to be desired. Uh, they did a better job with these 12 inch figures for the 25th anniversary 12 inch line. Those were pretty, pretty amazing. But there's still some gems out there and some real nice uh, pieces. And today I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at Rokondo. Uh, flipping the packaging around to the back. You can see a nice uh, picture of the product itself with a little bit of a read up on Rakondo. And then down at the bottom, you get his file card. So you can feel free to pause and read that. But as it is, I'm going to go ahead and crack this figure open, get a better look at Rakondo. So stay tuned. Okay, so we have Rakondo out of package. And before we get into him, uh, we'll just take a quick look at some of the accessories included. Uh, so you did get a little flyer in the packaging, which was for... Uh, some of the uh, movies and episodes for the G.I. Joe series. It's always cool. Normally they uh, would cross sell the, uh, the toys, but on this they're doing the, uh, the video offers. So it did come with that. And he comes with a crossbow of uh, sorts. And uh, the uh, piece also has a little bit of a notch there. You'll notice so it goes in, lines up with the string, and then would lock in the position, and you could fire that. Didn't really work so well. Nope, not at all. I've seen uh, a lot of GI Joe firing weapons work a lot better than that, but execution for that is a little poor. But uh, that's his main weapon. He also does come included with a uh, type of knife, the angle on it. I'm sure it has a name, not familiar with it, but it does have some nice sculpted detail. They did strap it into his hand. Of course it is removable. So, not a really a whole lot on accessories. There are other parts to them, but I wouldn't really class those as accessories. For instance, he does come with a hat and a removable vest. It also has a nice G.I. Joe logo there. But those are really part of the uniform itself. So, taking a closer look at the head sculpt, Rakondo originally, the 1980s toy, came with brown hair and a handlebar mustache. This is the original figure. Now, changing his hair from brown to black is not that big a deal because he was portrayed in the cartoon with black hair, but he also had a black mustache to go with it. Not sure why they decided to uh, exclude that for this, but that would have been a really nice touch if they added the mustache. Another thing is you'll notice he has the Australian style bush hat. On the original figure 
and it would have been great if they could have included that, but they just went with a standard baseball style hat. For the rest of the uniform though, a lot of it does harken back to the 80s figure. Uh, the tan shirt, the uh, safari jungle pants, and the boots. Not a bad match. Really good choices. Camouflage pattern looks great on the pants. Of course, he didn't have a vest originally. He had a holstered pistol, but uh, the vest is appropriate. He did come with a, uh, a assault rifle of sort on the original figure. And of course, they've switched that over to the crossbow, which not a huge fan of, especially for him. Another thing that's odd is they did change a couple of things from the 80s file card to the newer one. So we'll take a quick look at that next. Okay, so not having the original file card, uh, did pull it up on yojo.com. And you'll notice the, uh, the changes that have come in are going to be due to his uh, primary and secondary specialties. The name and birthplace are the same. His name is Daniel. Oops, sorry. Um, Claire. And he's infantry and intelligence, born in Wheaton, Wisconsin. And on the file card for the newer f figure, of course, the name and everything is the same as well as the rank. But they've changed him to a helicopter pilot and intelligence. So, not sure where that came into play, but he's no longer infantry, but now a helicopter pilot. Interesting choice. Okay, let's take a quick look at the articulation for Rakondo. His head could turn left and right. It could pivot a bit left and right, and it would go forward and back a bit. Uh, the shoulders... It'd fully rotate, swing out quite a bit, had a single joint at the elbow, and could also swivel at that elbow. Wrist also has a swivel and a hinge, and they did add the cut for the trigger finger. This is something they started doing in 1999, so that's a nice inclusion. Waist could twist, no real pivot. Hips go forward about 90 degrees. Knee could bend at 90 degrees. Also could swivel at the knee. And there was a hinge and twist at the foot. So not the greatest, but certainly serviceable articulation. Okay, so final thoughts on the 12-inch Rakondo. I do like the color scheme matching with the original figure. Uh, I think that's a really good hit. Uh, I think they did a nice job with the execution of the camouflage, the beige, the green, the brown boots. Uh, so that's cool. The head sculpt I also like too, though it does look a little bit young for Rakondo. Uh, this particular toy line was kind of aimed at the younger kids. So that didn't really bother me at all either. But I would have liked to have seen the handlebar mustache. I'm sure they were looking to update things a bit, which is fine, but again, that's one of the signature looks for Rakondo is having that mustache. So if they had added that, even though the hair color has changed, but again, in the comic books, or well not in the comics, but in the cartoon, his hair was black versus the toy being brown. That's fine, but the mustache, I think, is a miss. Also, the hat. Um, had they just included the... Uh, more Australian style hat. I think that would have really upped the sell for Rakondo instead of just a simple baseball cap. Um, another thing that is a little strange, um, for me I see him as kind of like a jungle trooper and the knife is appropriate for that. But they did switch him over to a helicopter pilot, yet they gave him a crossbow they didn't really give him anything appropriate to being a helicopter pilot. Again, which is fine because I do prefer Rakondo as a jungle trooper. Um, but just an odd choice for the uh, file card. Again, I do really like this figure. I'd give him a, uh, a thumbs up if you're interested in getting a 12-inch Rakondo in your collection. You could maybe do some mods to kind of make him look a little bit more like the original figure. 
Um, you know, I'm in the flocking. I could, of course, flock a mustache on them. Though I do tend to like to keep my figures original. Uh, and then maybe just changing out the hat, I think, would uh, really sell the Rakondo look. But that's it. That's a look at the, uh, the 2002 G.I. Joe vs. Cobra Rakondo figure. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at it, guys. And until next time, thanks for watching.